Hello, my name is Alejandro from the EFPL team, and in this video I'll give you a brief tutorial on how to get your environment set up for testing. I'll show you how, how to download the .NET SDK, how to get your Visual Studio Code set up with all the extensions required for your Mac. On the screen you see the information, the contact information of the EFPO team. You can use this information to contact us and ask us any questions that you require. You also see the contact information of the product owner, Dr. Masusa Jari. To begin, we need to install the .NET Core SDK. So on Google, you can search .NET Core. The first link that appears will take you directly to the download link, which is down here. You can download .NET SDK, and it will show you the three steps that you need to do to install it. It's very simple. Once you have it installed, you can open a terminal and to verify that it was successfully installed you do the command.net version and it will show you the version that you have installed which is 2.2 which is the one that's required for effort once you have that installed we need to install VS Code go again to Google Google VS Code first link that appears is the one that you need and you just download the VS Code editor. Once you have that installed, it will probably be in your launch pad, so you do that to open it. You go there and you open it. And this is the first screen that, that will that will appear for you. To get this working as we as we want it, we need to install several extensions. So once you have it open, we need to go to the extension button, which is this one right here. And you need to search first for the C sharp extension. So you just type C sharp and this is the one that we need, the one with the start. So C sharp for Visual Studio Code. Just click the install button, which will be here, and that's and that'll install it and allow us to run C sharp code on VS Code. Once you have that one, the other one that, you, that we're gonna need will be the the Nugget package. This this extension allows us to handle any conflicts with the code. It'll do it for you, and it'll save you a lot of a lot of time. So you search nuget and install it. Once you have that one installed, the next one we're gonna need is dot .NET Core Test. So search for dot .NET Core Test, and it'll, it'll be this one right here. This extension allows us to single out and run tests individually. See, as you see here, it allows us to pick a test and run it just by itself. The next extension that we want is the SQL Server Manager for MSQL. So you search SQL Server and it'll open here. You might not need it, you might not need it, but it's good to have it just in case and it doesn't hurt to have it installed so you can add it. Once you have all, all, all four of those extensions, then you're ready to go. You can come here on File, Open, and wherever you have your, your code installed, you can open it. And you will be ready to begin creating tests. As you see here, we have a test folder, and we put all the tests here, and we're ready to go. Once again, our team is the FPO team. These are contact information. Product owner is Dr. Masu Sajari, and this is his contact information. And I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Thank you.